Welcome to the another video of csharp.net. Here we are going to cover the generic collections. As we have already covered the concept of generics and collections separately, here we can feel them both all together. As in the collection we have already seen some dynamic memory allocations for the bulk of values, here along with the concept of generics, you will see like how you can make your collections as type safe. Programmatically, the task is going to be same, means the overall thing which we were doing in the collections will remain same, but the collection which we will make here will be the type safe. That means we definitely we will pass the data types at the runtime as per the concept of generics and we will store the number of values of the similar type in that particular collection. System.collections.generic is the namespace which is going to provide you some number of classes like this. As you can see list which will be equivalent to the array list means it will get some feature of array, dynamic array you can say and by the time you will be using this list you will get all same functionality as of the array list but it will be generic. The same situation is with the stack and queue with the same classes with having same name as of the normal collection and gen dictionary and sorted dictionary. It will be equivalent to your hash table and sorted list. So let's see practically how can we now implement the generic collections. Now in order to implement the generic collection right here as you can see I have already added this system.collection.generic which will give us a number of classes like let's begin with the list which is actually equivalent to the array list of the normal collection the non-generic collections. Here I'll have to pass the type at the runtime as per the logic of generic and at the time of form load what I'm doing is I will simply initialize this like that and again as earlier you can pass the capacity right here and now when you will use the add method it will not ask for the object type since it is type safe and whichever type you have passed by the instantiation it, instantiation, it will only take that particular type. So like 10 and let's add some more elements. So now you can see like here I have added the 5 elements and now to reach that I can pass integer because all the elements I am going to get are is of integer type. So int item and list and here again as earlier we used to do list box 1 dot items dot add item. So let's execute that and all the five elements are here. Now in order to remove that elements from the list what I can do is list dot remove so remove all remove remove at remove range are the options here so as if you will call this remove you will have to pass the element which you want to remove if you call remove at you will have to pass the index like I pass 2 so 0 1 2 in that way it will be removed remove range will take a couple of options couple of values here like the starting index like 0 and number of elements you want to remove 2 so starting from the 0 it will remove these two elements so only 30 40 50 will be in the output like this and as we have discussed earlier about the count and capacity the logic is same count is the number of elements in the list and capacity is the current capacity as here I have specified 5 let's say if I will pass 3 so again as soon as you will exceed the elements from 3 so the capacity will keep on increasing by the twice of that so as soon as the 3 will be exceeding it will become 6 12 24 and so on now here you can see again the very same implementation for this tag as we did earlier here I just need to pass a type as it is a generic collection and push is the method which we used for adding the elements so five elements has been added since stack follows last in first out so the output here will be in the reverse order as 50 was the last element so it will come out first and when I will do the pop operation right here so it will only remove the topmost element that is 50 in this case and rest will be there again stack dot peak this peak method will return you the topmost element from this particular stack without removing that 
So the overall implementation of stack will be as same as of the earlier normal stack, the non-generic stacks, but yes, as we discussed, this is type safe. And here, as you can see, in queue, I have enqueued five elements, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. When I will say DQ, it will be first in, first out. So the first element, that is 10, will be DQ'd, and 20, 30, 40, 50 will be there. All right, I forgot to initialize the memory. So let's, oh, oh. let's do that. All right, so let's execute it now. All right, and as I said, we got the output. You can also use the peak method in the very same way for getting the first element in the list, like int first is equal to q dot peak. All right, so if you will retrieve this first variable, you will get 20 as the 10 is dequeued. So the 20 is the first element in this queue. Now, let's discuss about dictionary, which is equivalent to the hash table of the generic of the non-generic collection and here as we are working with the generic ones so in the dictionary this is the type of key I will pass and this is the value type so whenever I will start adding some elements here you see int key and string value so let's say the key value is 101 and the value here is maybe something different like value 1 alright so this is how you can pass the values. Let's add some more values here. So there are five values as earlier I discussed like key must be unique. So here you see all the unique keys are there. Values may be duplicate. Like if I want, I can say value one, value one twice in the same list. And to retrieve that using for each loop. Now here I have a type like again, it is a value. It's a paired value, not a single value. This is integer. This is a string, but what is the combined type called? We call it key value pair. Here I'll have to tell key is of integer type while value is of string type. And now I'm good to read this particular list. So while adding that in the list box, let's say item dot key. Let's separate that with the colon and item dot value let's run this and you will get the same output as we have added whenever you will want to remove a particular element you can pass the key in order to remove that let's say I say 234 so 234 value is XYZ which will be now removed from this list and I will not see it anymore in the output as in the non-generic collections we got sorted dictionary and hash table very similar similarly here we have dictionary and sorted dictionary the only difference will be like sorted dictionary will show you the output in the sorted order of the keys so if i will execute this 101 and here you can see the values are in sorted order so this is how you can start working with the generic collection